Okay, one thing I do want to point out before we get into example is that this second law is a vector equation. It's a vector. Okay? This means that you cannot start working on this before you actually write out the scalar form okay, of this equation in each of the principal directions according to whatever coordinate system you choose. Okay? For example, in Cartesian coordinate system, 2D case, X and Y. Okay? So you write the scalar form of this second law equation into X and Y components and then you solve for these directions, uh, these equations, okay, in each of the directions. For example, you have this particle, right? maybe it's traveling along, let's say, this horizontal direction, okay, and it's subject to the weight and then a friction force, and you result in this horizontal acceleration to the right. Okay, so you apply these equations to this free body diagram right here. Okay, so this actually includes free body diagram, which is in red, and kinetic diagram, which is in green. Okay, so it's uh, both sides combined, but we'll, we'll look into that uh, um, in more detail. Um, in a normal coordinate system, you apply the second law the same way. Okay in tangent direction and normal direction, okay? And then the acceleration is in tangent component, and then the acceleration here is a normal component, right? And tangent component or acceleration is simply dvdt, right? Rate of change of velocity, that's all. Right? For example, you have this particle traveling along this, this curved path, right? And subject to friction force and maybe weight, and maybe some other forces too, okay? And then the resulting motion is normal component of acceleration, AN, as well as tangent component of acceleration. All right? So, and then you write the uh, second law in a normal direction as well. And AN, and we derived it before, is V squared over rho. Okay? So, you apply second law according to um, the coordinate system that you've chosen and then write it in each of the directions okay, before you actually plug in the numbers. So next, let's look at examples.